Good morning campers. Well we've just spent a lovely weekend at uh, Sherwood Forest Holiday Park uh, which is situated Mansfield area and it's a lovely quiet family park and I'm going to finish this cup of tea and I'll take you a tour around. These are all the hard standing pitches. They all have uh, electric hook up on site. Plenty of shower and toilet blocks dotted around. Hopefully, you can hear me because of the wind. This is all the different areas they have. We're down on Willow. got an on-site shop as well which is uh, well stocked with all camping essentials you may need or what you forgot also sell gas uh, sleeping bags all sorts of things you can get your basic essentials bread milk and there's one of the many uh, toilets and shower blocks and they are very nice and warm inside as well and some good powerful showers. Got pot washing areas. And this is the shop next to the telephone box. In the summertime, they have a uh, snack cabin where you can get breakfasts from. Some very nice caravans. Seems a shame to buy something nice and expensive like that, but just have it stuck on one side all the time. Hi guys, Emma here, and we're here to show you what the sh toilets and shower blocks look like. They're all very nice and clean. They're always checked regularly by staff. to put your toiletries on while you're in the shower. A bin to put any waste in. We're coming to another section of the park and I've uh, I think this section is where to try and shove families, well, shove, put families with uh, young children as these uh, quite a fair sized uh, outdoor park for them.
<laughs> Plenty of dog walking routes as well. And some nice lakes and rivers. And this is uh, <clears throat> one of the family areas. If you are uh, just a couple with no children, uh, and obviously when you're booking in, you just tell them that there's two adults, they'll put you somewhere where it's quieter. Also next door to the site, um, while we was having a ride round, there is a uh, fishery as well where you can go fishing. Prices for the site vary, obviously from season to season. When you're off season, it's cheaper, and obviously when it's summertime season, like any other site, prices do increase. Uh, I'll drop a link below for the site. This is one of the uh, walking routes you can go around with your dogs, if you have any, uh, or just for a general stroll. Close by there is Sherwood Pines, which is about, I think it's just over a mile away. Um, and then there's a new pub called The Dog and Duck, I think, if you're wanting to go out for a meal. That's around about a mile away as well. And up these steps, I think, is the rally site. So if you're wanting to hold any gatherings, you can come on here. Uh, I think it's just toilets and water. I don't think they have any uh, electrical cup. Um, but, can get quite a few people on here. These are the grass pitches, which looks like they're only used in summer. And again, they've all got electric hookup points. Oh, they also have uh, TV aerials built in them as well because the TV signal can be a bit hit and miss. We're at the opposite end of the park from where we started. 
uh, which we're coming to the caravan area. I think this is the area where they tend to put all the caravans or the people who leave the caravans on site all the time are up this end.